Hey, what's going on, everybody? Chris Williams here back with another episode. And today what I wanted to talk to you about is why you still need to show up even when you're unprepared. All right, so I'm bringing this up because in my life right now, the most um, uncomfortable and nerve wracking thing is happening. And I just thought maybe this would probably help you if I talk it through while I'm actually dealing with it. And this happens from time to time as you catch momentum or as you've kind of juggling lots of different things, family life, kids, business, businesses, um, you know, changes in job, career, whatever the case may be. But there are times where you have to keep showing up even though you're seriously unprepared. You know, there are times when you're at work and you know, last minute, somebody's coming and saying, hey, we need this information and this data and we gotta get you in the meeting in an hour. Can you pull that together? And we feel the weight of being unprepared. You know, our kids are going off to either college like mine or first time in high school and you may as a parent really seriously feel unprepared. And then maybe you do have a side business and you finally got a, somebody to pay that fee for that high ticket thing that you offer, but now you feel unprepared because you're like, oh my gosh, I wanna make sure that I do a good job. So I just wanna kind of tell you like, the truth of the matter is this, you still showing up even when you're unprepared is actually the best thing you could ever do. Because the truth of the matter is, the alternative is to not show up and lose all the momentum. But here's also the secret that I'm learning. I'm really figuring out that my unprepared show up self is gold to the person who I'm showing up for. It gives confidence to other people. And you know what's really crazy? They mostly don't even know you're not prepared. There's nobody on the planet who has kids and goes, yeah, I'm 100% prepared for children every day of my life. Be honest, parents, you're never really prepared for whatever the heck that boy or that girl's gonna throw at you on an everyday basis. But the fact that you keep showing up gives your child solace, lets them trust you more, because they, if they know anybody's gonna be there, it's you as their parent. So if we can start to understand that as, as parents, then we can also understand why that can also translate to every other area of our lives. If you're trying to lose weight, you're not gonna be prepared the first day you walk in to the gym or hire a trainer or just go start walking, but you need to get started. If you're gonna make a leap in your career and head to that new role in your corporate day job, guess what? You're not 100% ready, but you know you're ready for the moment. And embracing uncertainty in multiple different ways actually makes us much more effective to be able to do the job. Because the more challenges we take on, we actually walk in with eyes wide open. We're 100% aware, and that way we embrace the entire thing. But I wanted to kind of share with you a couple of tips or some things that you can do in these moments in life where we start to feel unprepared. First and foremost, I'm gonna tell you that done is better than perfect. There are too many of us who are actually hiding and masking our ability to show up unprepared behind wanting to be perfect. And what I've learned to do is this little personal hack that when I find myself saying, well, when I get this done, then I will, or when I get that done, then I will, I realize I'm headed down the road of perfectionism. And what I need to do is take the first step of action. Y'all have no idea how many times I hop on YouTube or go into our audio experience and record an episode. I'm not really fully prepared. I know what I'm gonna cover. I know how I wanna end, but there's a lot of times through conversation, through things that I'm talking about as I go through it, that I start to understand the bigness, the depth, or where I wanna head. But that doesn't mean that I'm prepared for everything during these episodes, but I still show up and I still make sure that you get some good content. So the second thing I would say is in order for you to be able to take an action, no matter what the action is towards it, is that you gotta set some clear intentions. Let's say you got a lot on your plate today and there's so many things to take care of. And I know for me, when I got too much on my plate, I almost do none of it because of overwhelm. So instead of doing nothing, the best thing we can do is ask ourselves, What's the most important thing for me to get done today that would actually move the needle? And then quite honestly, only focus on that thing. It doesn't mean that the other things are not important. What it means is the quicker you get into action to actually tackling that list of things to get done, you will start to build momentum and then you will uh, have the energy to actually tackle the other things on your list. But it's gotta start somewhere Pick something and start taking action. The next thing that I would tell you is, is that I'm really learning about the power of adaptability. Charles Darwin talks about like why a species actually survives. It's not the fastest, it's not the strongest, it's just the one who chooses to adapt 
quicker than the others. And there's been too many times where I didn't adapt to a situation, I complained about it, I let go of the rope too early, or I said something was too hard, or whatever the case may be, and because I did that, I end up losing out on a real opportunity to either upskill or gain a new experience or whatever the case may be. I think it's really important that instead of leading with our emotions when we feel unprepared to be able to take action, the best thing we can do is take small action, but understand what I need to do is adapt in the moment. I only have 24 hours a day. I cannot get everything done, but if I start somewhere, something will get done. That's way more important. Let me know down in the comments below some things that you've actually done that actually has spurred you to take action even when you feel overwhelmed, unprepared, but you know you gotta make a move. What have you done? Here's the last thing I'll tell you. It's really easy to allow your perception to become our reality. And I have found too many times that the perception of me being unprepared, the perception of not being having all my ducks in a row, the perception of what are people gonna think about me has ruled way too long and caused me to produce less and less. And so I don't want you to make the same mistakes. So don't allow the perception of how it may seem when something is not all the way 100% ready to stop you from actually doing the thing. Listen, I'm all about excellence. I'm all about going hard and making things happen. Listen, I literally have massive action Mondays. But imperfect action is much better than doing nothing or perceiving that if it's not perfect, then I can't do it yet. I have found that in my own life with everything that I have going on, the best thing has happened is that I'm constantly moving forward. And then when you look back, you'll find out that you're actually getting better along the way, as opposed to hoping you get better before you start. So listen, we're all facing things where we feel seriously unprepared. We're all looking down at a, at a, at a job or something that's gotta happen right now, decisions that we gotta make, people we gotta help. We're all in the same boat facing some of those moments and all of us are thinking that we're unprepared. Let me tell you something, pretty much every day of our lives, we're gonna be unprepared in something, some shape, form, or fashion. My whole goal is to take some action, massive action, as it relates to what I need to do. Don't worry about the perception of how you may look to other people or whatever the case may be, because here's the truth of the matter. People who actually are moving forward and taking action, everybody's looking at them anyway, because you are out of the fray, you're out of, you're, you're afraid off of the group. You're not leveraging group to uh, think. You're actually moving forward in your life. And so they're gonna look anyway. You might as well just show them what imperfection, act, imperfect action looks like. And I think that the more that we do it, the more comfortable that we are. And guess what? You end up creating momentum a lot faster than most people. Listen, this was something that was on my heart, so I just wanted to make sure that I share it because I go through things and I figured you probably have felt unprepared for a lot of things in your life too. So listen, if you enjoyed this episode, do me a favor, make sure you share this, make sure you like this, make sure you comment below and let me know how in the world are you able to leverage this conversation? Maybe there's something that you're working on that you're like, I'm gonna go ahead and take imperfect action on this. Tell me down in the comments below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Have a great, incredible day. And I cannot wait to see what you create. Continue to grow and strive. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.